。你好，我是 Cindy。Hello, I am Cindy. We begin by saying 你好 which means hello. 你好，你好。Can you try it? Great. 你好。Next, we say, 我是 Cindy. I am Cindy. 我是 Cindy. 我是 Cindy. Now you try it, but don't use Cindy unless, of course, your name is Cindy. You did it. 我是 Cindy. Now we just have to put the two parts together. I'll say it first, and then we'll try it together. 你好，我是 Cindy. Got it? Let's try. Fantastic. 你好，我是 Cindy. To ask for people's names, we say, 你叫什么名字 What is your name? 你叫什么名字你叫什么名字 That's quite a long sentence, so let's break it down. The first character is 你 You already know that one. It means you. 你 The second character. Is 叫 It means to shout or to call. 叫叫 Can you try it? Great. 叫 The next two characters are often used together. 什么 It means what. 什么什么 Now you try it. Fantastic! 什么 And finally, the last two characters also go together. 名字 It means name. 名字名字 Let's try it. Perfect! 名字 When we put all the pieces together, we have 你叫什么名字 Word by word, that means you're called by what name? That's how we ask for someone's name in Chinese. 你叫什么名字你叫什么名字 Now you try it. 你真棒 You're doing great. What would you say when someone asks you, 你叫什么名字 Well, you have learned one way, which is to say, 我是 Cindy. I am Cindy. Or you can say, 我叫 Cindy. I am called Cindy. Either one is fine. 他叫什么名字？他叫小老鼠。He is called Little Mouse. 他叫什么名字？他叫小牛。He is called Little Cow. 他叫什么名字？他叫小虎。He is called Tiger. What about this cute fairy animal? 它叫小兔 She is called little rabbit. And finally, 它叫什么名字它叫小龙 He is called little dragon. Let's learn to count from one to five. For each number, I will repeat it twice, and then you try it. 
Ready? Let's go. E E Er Er San San Si Si Wu Wu Great. Let's try counting from one to five. E Er San Si Wu E Er San Si Wu Now you try it. You did it! You 真棒 Let's count from six to ten. For each number, I will repeat it twice, and then you try it. Ready? Let's start. Liu, Liu, Qi, Qi. 八，八，九，九，十，十。Great. Let's try counting from six to ten. 六，七，八，九，十。Let's do it again. 六，七，八，九，十。Now you try it. Perfect. Can we try counting from one to ten? I'm going to do it first. 一，二，三，四，五。六，七，八，九，十。Let's try it together. You're 真棒 You're doing great. To ask for someone's age in Chinese, we say, 你几岁 How old are you? 你几岁你几岁 Let's break it down. The first character is 你 You already know that one. It means you. 你 Next, we have 几 It means how many. 几，几 ？Can you try it? Great. 几 ？And finally, the last character we have is called 岁 It means years old. 岁，岁。Now you try it. 你真棒。When we put all of them together, we get 你几岁 Word for word, that means you, how many, years old. That's how we ask for someone's age in Chinese. 你几岁 Let's say it together. Perfect. 你几岁 If someone asks you that question, how do you tell them how old you are? Let me give you a hint. The English word for word is "me," number, years old. Think you got it? 
Let's try saying I am nine years old. 我九岁 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 Now you try it. Perfect. What if we want to say, I am five years old? 我五岁 我五岁 To make bigger numbers in Chinese, all we need is some basic math. You see, here I have ten pencils. 一二三四五六七八 but wait, I've got more. What's 10 plus 1? 11. Since 11 is 1 more than 10, in Chinese, we just put 10 and 1 together to make 11. 十一. We do the same for 12, since it's 10 plus 2. 十 er. We follow the same pattern for 十三, 十四, 十五, 十六, 十七, 十八, and 十九. What's the number that comes after 19? 20. If we put my hands and my toes together, we get 20. In other words, 20 is just two sets of tens. So in Chinese, we call 20 er shi. For 30, which is three sets of tens, we call it san shi. We call 40, which is four sets of tens, si shi. Just like that, you have mastered Chinese numbers. Let's try counting from 1 to 20 together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. You're amazing! Now we can meet people who are older than 10 years old. Have fun, and I'll see you next time. 再见!